Hey guys, RC here. We're back for our next episode. Checking out some highlights from our match with Willem 2. And we see Willem with the ball here in the early going. 12th minute on the clock. Wide open inside the box. And Ids just buries it. Puts us in a 1-0 hole. And we kept it close. 51st minute. Again, a chip into the box. Amoa's there. Beat the defenders, Nemeth and Neteb, both on yellow cards. Just, uh, ugh. Now, there was a clearance. It was pretty poor. Got put back into the box. DeVries turned on it and put it in. It was good to see him get on the score sheet. Uh, both clubs with 12 shots. We had five on target. They only had three, and we had the possession as well. Just uh, couldn't get it done. Not enough. We've actually been struggling. Taking a look at our schedule here, we have been in a bad run of form. Let's see. I believe last match was uh, Kazakhan Boys and Sparta. So, uh, yeah, 5-4 win over Utrecht. Then uh, a pair of 3-1 defeats to Heronveen and Telstar. FC20 just completely annihilated us 5-1. We beat Groningen 3-0, and then a pair of 2-0 defeats, NEC and PSV. Uh, that eliminated us in the Dutch Cup second round. PSV, you know, we got the email that, you know, the board was disappointed in that, but PSV's the three-time defending champions in that competition. So, yeah, you know, we weren't going to beat them. And then... Uh, the 2-1 defeat that we just saw. Now, we do have uh, a little bit of a break for about three weeks, so I've got some game time I've got to get through before we can play AZ. But we'll be back for that match for you in just a second. All right, we're back for the match today. We do have some transfer business to catch you guys up on. We are in the middle of the transfer window. Uh, so this started at the beginning of January. We have moved out uh, quite a few players. Nico Sabuni, left back, goes to go ahead, 275000 Julian LaRue, I believe he was a left back as well. Yes, he was. And uh, just, you know. He can never make make it into the team. He goes to Napoli for one hundred and fifty five thousand. Philip Rasmussen was our captain, but uh, we've had a really, you know, with the form that we've been in recently, the morale around the team has just gone in the toilet. And he was not the starter, and it was really irking him. He was causing all kind of problems. So we move him to Almere City for three point four million. Jeffrey Regling and Johnny Doherty go to Laguna, Lugano for 110 and 43,000 respectively. And our former starting center back, Fabian Cohen, has fallen to about fifth in the depth chart. Uh, he goes to uh, Florida's Dorfer for 195,000, bringing our total outgoing for the year to 4.9. On the flip side, we brought in Albert Raniers from OHL for two hundred and seventy-five thousand, and he was injured when he first came on board. He's a left winger, uh, so he's going to fill Rasmussen's spot, and that's what made Rasmussen expendable. I was just really frustrated. Now, he's very short, five seven, but he's got good physicals, uh, good work rate, decent off the ball, decision making is there, aggression. Crossing, dribbling, first touch. You know, very solid player. Uh, two and a half star current, four star potential. And uh, you can see he's made one appearance uh, non-competitive. Played very well. Uh, has yet to make his debut for the team. But he is uh, back being healthy. And also, this guy, we have been getting a lot of interest in him. He's one of our young players, 16 years old. I think that's from last year's academy class, and he's really he really looks good. Uh, he's six foot one, center back. He's already very solid. Just needs to continue to develop. His ability is going up, four and a half star potential, and we're getting offers. You know. 85, 120,000, and I've I've put a I've put a 10 million dollar marker on him uh, and just rejected all offers. Uh, you can see they're getting up into the low 200s. Uh, Ajero Neteb, our starting center back, 
Uh, he had a uh, offer come in from Eindhoven for a million dollars. Has a year left on his current deal. That was his uh, buyout clause. Uh, we gave him a contract extension with a 2.7 million, I believe it was, and he signed it, and so that got rid of that. And we do have one other player. Uh, this is a guy we're looking at to, to strengthen our left back. Currently, we're playing, you know, we did move a couple of players. Our starter right now is a lone player, so I'd like to get one of our own guys in. So this is a guy that I'm looking at. We're, we've made an offer for $245,000. we have got a contract offer to him. So hopefully he accepts it. He's not here today as he has not accepted it. We're playing AZ Alkmaar today. Here's the club we're going with. Anachik, Dira, Banachek, Neteb, Nemeth in the defense. Shedahol, Merrick stepping up into the midfield. We do have uh, quite a few guys. Uh, well, a few guys. Kingsley Moses and uh, Alcini Diallo uh, on international duty. John Harris is a guy we have brought in on loan from Northern Ireland. And I am contemplating contemplating making an offer just mainly because he can play so many positions for depth his crossing is really giving me pause though three and a half star potential haven't decided yet let me know what you guys think in the comments of course by the time i see the comments this video will already be up and i'll have moved on uh unfortunately but uh i'd still like to know what you think um moses i was Trying to cut the competition for him and moving Cohen out, and Diallo normally starts up in the midfield here. Uh, you can also notice uh, I've switched around some of the roles. I've moved the inverted wingbacks to just straight wingbacks, more natural for these guys. Quasi is a, I've never used this, a wide playmaker. Never used it before, but I don't have a playmaker here. And instead of box to box, I made Merrick a ball winning midfielder and shed a hole. I moved him from a, a, a wide midfielder to just a winger uh, to stay outside on that on that side. So that's what we're going to go with today. Let's see what happens. Uh, Quasi will not uh, sign a new contract. And we have made him a promise not to sell him. So he's probably going to walk as a free agent into the year. Uh, let's point the finger, see if we can't get him to end their poor form. We're not favorites in this one. It's going to be a long shot. And I've had three cats on me already this morning while I was trying to get through to the match. So... You guys know how it is. If the cats come in, they'll they'll be here cheering us on. There's a nice interception by Nemeth. Let's try to give them some encouragement. There you go. They all like that. Good job. Oh, and Stretslav and Natumba up top, our normal two strikers. Oh, that's not good. Nemeth just got toasted. It was it offsides. We're looking at the VAR. Disallowed. Offsides. Very nice. Yeah, he was. He was a step off. That's why Nimeth got beat. It's a good chest down, though. Wow. Can't be disappointed in that. We've got a little rain going on today. Oh, uh, Nimeth, you were too slow. Oh dear, a nice tackle. Fortunately, he can't get there. Uh, and he misses the second try. And near post with a good save. I don't know how some of these new uh, roles will play out. Like I said, I was trying to put the guys in, in more natural positions. That's one of my shortcomings. I don't know how the various positions um interact with each other so you know moving one of these guys to a, a winger instead of a wide midfielder and the other guy from a wide mid to a wide playmaker just not sure oh it was right there that was a nice job getting up to the touch line but that's my weakness i think i i just can't figure out 
how to make those moves with any confidence. That's my shortcoming in football manager. Uh, oh, no. A flick on header. DeGroote. And that one's going to count. All right. I believe they're playing three up top. Now, Dira and Merrick really don't want to do that. But if I if I move him from here, let's bring Shasane on for him. Quasi's just going to have to... You know what? We'll make him a Mazala. That way he'll drift out. I think that's good. And we'll make him a deep line playmaker for right now. I want to go to three. That's uh, kind of the Bielsa philosophy. They're playing three up top. We're getting gutted. They're having three guys on our two center backs. So we'll try to put more guys in the middle here and see if that can affect that a little bit. One other thing, if I see them continuing to get through, I want to change our, our defensive posture to ch channel them inside. Oh, Nimeth with a nice ball out. And Natumba gets past Safari, and he is in. And he cannot get it into the net. Oh, that was a brilliant opportunity. You don't see many clubs playing with three three strikers. That was a big tactic in, uh, was it FM19, I believe? Could have been 18. Hard to, hard to believe all that time runs together, right? But Nice ball out to Shasane. Dira? Oh, I think Dira should have controlled that and taken a pop. There's a square. Get it again! Oh, Natumba just cannot get a foot on the ball. All right, they've got... Oh, look how wide open DeGroot is over there. Baracek came too far out. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to make another decision here. Uh, I want to force the opposition inside. Let's do that. <clears throat> and DeGroote, second goal of the game. Oh, man. I'm trying to see where is Nateb Banachek. Deer is the wing back. Where's my other center back? Not Merrick. Who is my other center back? Maybe it is Deera. No, it's Nemeth. I didn't even see him on the pitch. Where is he at? Seriously, do you guys see Nimeth anywhere on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, this is the attacking end, I suppose. There he is. There he is. All right, so at least he's on the field. <laughs> I, I was questioning whether he was or not. thought maybe he forgot to play. Oh, DeGroote just beat him again. Oh, what a tackle by Nimeth there. Wow. That was huge. Long header to Tumba gets it on target with the header. Um, let's encourage him again. Click on header, DeVries, Stretzlov. Oh, I don't know what that was. Uh, and DeGroote just toast Nimeth again. Get back there, Banachek. Oh, my God. 
That one should have been in the net. Uh, yeah. Tell Nimeth to man mark him. Just stay with him everywhere he goes. I'm curious to see if that does any good. I, I mentioned that a while back. Quasi takes a pop. I mentioned that a while back because that's the Bielsa defense. Is, or, you know, they play a man marking system. And I was wondering how that would work. You would have to go in and actually set to mark a position. It would be kind of odd. Oh, taken down in the box. No foul. It's going to be a goal kick. Oh. I think we were unlucky to have that call not go in our favor. Dira, nice tackle away to Merrick. We come right back in the attack. It's Natumba. And he slots it home, his 12th of the season, and we're back in at 2-1 to one here in the first half. Uh, we are going to demand more if we can. That was a nice ball. Very nice ball. Uh, demand more. I'm going to drop this down to positive. Be a little... Oh, nice interception by Quazy. He's got space into the box, lays it off to Chassain, who takes a crack at it, sends it high. Mm. All right, we do have an injury. Dira, I saw pop up there. Let's see, seven shots, two on target for us, nine, five. Yeah. I'm I think we're doing all right. Uh let's uh let's pump fists. I don't think any of you played as well as you could. Um I do want to the tomb is on a yellow, injured but feels he can shake off the slight injury, but he is yeah, let's see. I'm gonna pull him off. Let's let's give Rainier's and he can actually play wing back. Okay. I'm we're gonna give Albert Rainier's his debut. I like it. And start the second half. Albert Rainier's coming on for Deshaun Dira. There he is. He's got he's got he's got a video highlight now, and nothing happens. Ugh. Just saying. Cuts it inside, up to Stretzlov. Oh, that was not, that was not an intelligent pass. Oh, Nimeth gets beaten by DeGroot this time. Knocked away by Anchik. He did a good job to make that save there. Let's, uh, let's demand more from the entire team. A header goes over. Looks like Nemeth is getting a little tired. He might be uh, our next sub here. All right. Um, I want to pop in here. Let's go to a regroup instead of the counter press. I'm going to take off ball into box. And I'm going to take off this overlap. We don't have anybody attacking out here, and there is no overlap anymore. So no sense holding anything up, right? Uh, let's see. It's Neteb that's tired. No, it's Nimeth that's tired, and he's on a yellow. Gaia can defend out there, so let's bring him on. Do that. We'll only make one sub here, because we made the one at the half. So we don't want to blow our third and final sub oh there's a nice interception to get it out Stretzlov is there oh Natumba with a good control into DeVries and DeVries slots it home his third of the season oh I'm wondering if I ought to go with three up top like they're playing today I don't know how viable that is in, in 21, though. But I have. I mean, DeVries was our leading scorer last year. 
And the only reason he fell out this year was because he got injured. And then Stretzlov made the most of his time. Um, he was, oh, that was very nice on onside play. And we've equalized here. Come on, boys. Uh, we're going to praise them. Merrick through the midfield. Oh, he tried to chip it over. That was. <sighs> That's a good ball out to Chassain. Quazy. Merrick again. DeVries. Oh, a little heel kick. No, oh, no, no. All right, they're two on two. Get over there to Teb. Good block! And Anna Chick. Anna Chick had plenty of room to make that play, and he does not. De Groot has a hat trick. He's put four into the net today, three that count, and he's only got eight on the season. Oh, my goodness. What do I... I'm gonna put I'm gonna push him up to support. If he would have been just a touch more aggressive there, he could have cleared that easily. Easily. Good steal by DeVries. Natumba. Stretzlov's in. Oh, and he can't finish. Big save by Risky. And there's another save by Risky. Come on, boys. Uh, I was hoping we had something there, but... Come on. Oh, look at Sanchez. All the space. Beat Chessane. Gayet gets beaten. Oh my, no, 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 come on. Nick Willems, his second of the season, and that was a beauty. Uh, I mean, we don't really have a choice here, do we? I've got to push for the ball, and we've got to go up to attacking. I'm going to push them up on attack. Oh, man. At 2-2, two, two, I was hopeful. They're going to go to VAR. Could be a penalty. We don't deserve to give up a penalty here, guys. He makes the long run. And you know it's going to be a penalty. It's always a penalty. That's not true. I think we actually had one in this version that was not a penalty. And, oh my God, it's not a penalty. <laughs> Is he going to get a card? Nope, he's just given a warning. Oh, push out, push out, push out. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there's a nice clearance. Natumba. Beats his man. Stretzlov, where are you at? Oh, no. Too heavy a touch. And look, they drop that clearance right into space. Good clearance over the side, not the touch line. That's good. Who is struggling? I mean, they're playing pretty well. You know what? I'm going to bring DeVries up top and then Stretzlov or no. Why would I do that? How about slot boom? Why would it tell me to bring Opdam on for an attack for a shadow striker? Okay, I, we're going to have to have a talk after the game there, bud. All right, we have Boucher can play up there. And Boucher starts a lot. What about Opdam? He doesn't have finishing, and he's more of a... That's why, not him, sl, uh, Slot Boom, that's who I was looking at. 
Finishing's only a four. Boucher's only got a five. I think we're going to put him on. And not make any more substitutions. Okay. Well, I'm not going to edit that out so you can see how stupid I am. Did we make a third sub? I'm assuming we did. And Natumba, his 13th of the season. I'm sitting here looking at the at the bar down here to try to figure out who I've subbed, and I missed the play. And it's Rainier's. Oh, look at the little pass in. And Natumba beats him at the near post to make it 4-3 in the 81st minute. Let's tell him to focus. No, they didn't like that. The Teb. Merrick plays it across to Chassain. Blocked away. Quasi back out to Chassain. Oh my gosh, there was a shot on goal, but it was blocked. We're up to two and a quarter on our XG. All right, boys, come on. We're looking good here right now. Out to Rainier's in space. Squared in, and it's in the net. It's Natumba. Is that his hat trick? Oh, they're looking. They're looking. They're going to VAR. No, come on. Oh, no. No. Oh, that had to have been... Yeah, he was pretty far off sides. Yeah, he was, a, he was a good step. Oh, that was a great buildup. And I tell you what, Rainier's has looked deadly out there. I, I'm liking him on that left side. I, I'm not liking this three-back set. I don't really have a choice. Two crosses that we could not get into the box, so we'll never know what could have happened. We don't have any delay on, so they shouldn't be holding anything. Five minutes of stoppage time. Oh, Natumba steals it. He's on a breakaway into the box. Oh, come on. Look at that. Always into the defender's legs. I have no idea what to do with that. I don't know what to do to stop that. If you have any input, what can I do to, you know, it, earlier crosses? I don't know. I don't know what to do. We've seen that all since the series started in both saves i think it's something to do with maybe it's fm21 in the match engine i don't know i have no idea well it was an exciting game we actually ended up on the plus side on xg that's pretty interesting the breeze played a 7-1 he's really pushing to get back on the pitch stretzlov is our leading scorer though and you know, I, I'm wondering if I played him out of position there. DeVries got a goal. I think I put him in. I think we give him a run of games. I think we go with the uh, Natumba DeVries pairing and let Stretzlov come off the bench. Oh, that's right. It was shed a hole for Rainier's. That was the other move. Yeah, I don't like this three back set. I mean, it, it worked. I think. I think it helped with the three up top that we were dealing with. Um, I'm going to go outstretched arms. You gave it everything, which they did, but we still lost. And that means we're still going to have, you know, issues. We're nine points above relegation, eight points behind qualifying for next year. We need to go on a run if we want to do anything. <sighs> I'm not sure how all these transfers are going to play out. I mean, we got rid of a lot of players, but most of them, none of them were starters, I don't think. So, eh, is what it is. Rainier's, I would like to re-sign Quasi, but I don't think he's going to re-sign. 
I'm checking him every couple of weeks because he is in the last year of his deal. And that forced me to go in and extend a couple of other guys that still had a new, you know, a year left. Somebody like Stretzlov, who, you know, signs a three year extension. So now he signed through 2056. So, you know, that's an example. Uh, where do we come back? Well, I'll figure that out. And uh, you guys don't need to sit there and uh, wait for me to do that. So I'll figure out where we come back. And uh, we should have transfers wrapped up by that point. So we'll finalize transfers. We'll look at some highlights and check out our next match. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe for me. And uh, again, just thank you so much for all the comments and well wishes for everything that I'm going through. Um, it, it's just... You know, there's there's not a day there's <laughs> there's not a day that I haven't thought about her since she left, and uh, you know, my only public service announcement would be if your parents are still around, make the days count, make the days count because when they're gone, it really changes perspective. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.